Senator um Umberg, you may proceed. This is SB 42 with a do pass recommendation. Support, support. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You know, I, I don't want to disappoint you by cutting this hearing so short, so I plan on going for an hour, hour and a half, if that's okay with you, Mr. Absolutely. Chair. All right, thank you very much. Uh, here's what this bill is about. This bill is about attorney accountability. Uh, you may have read about the Tom Girardi debacle. Uh, that's illustrated the challenge that we have in California. California is literally the only state that does not have a requirement that attorneys who uh, witness another attorney uh, creating and conducting some sort of misconduct that harms a client doesn't require that to be reported. Uh, we're crafting a bill. This is not a finished product yet. State Bar has, has drafted two rules, which I believe need some work, and our bill also needs some work. But the purpose of this is to require attorneys to report those who harm clients in particular, break that trust. Now. Um, it's not it's not designed to create additional work for an attorney who happens to be obstreperous in a deposition those kinds of things but certain misconduct must be reported to the bar certain misconduct requires that attorney be disciplined I realize this is very controversial in the bar a very well-known probably the premier ethicist in California is opposed to this mandatory reporting it happens to be my law partner uh, but all in all, I think this is going to be a good idea when it's fully cooked, and I urge your I vote. Um, witnesses in support include me. Um, that's it. Urge your I vote. Thank you very much. There's no primary witnesses in support. Is there anybody in the audience who would like to come and do Me Too in support? Seeing none. Any primary witnesses in opposition? Seeing none. Anyone in the room that wants to come up? Take an opposed position. Seeing none, let's uh, let's go to the phones. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to comment and support opposition of SB 42, you may press one and zero at this time. I will go to line 31. Moment. It's my law partner. <laughs> no, I don't need anybody. Okay, uh, line 31. Please go ahead. Benjamin Cohn again. I'm worried that this risk averse people who don't know but suspect violation may uh, report unnecessary ones. I think that should be addressed. And I also oppose SB 40. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, there's no others in queue. Back to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, moderator. Fine job today. All right, we'll pull it back to committee. Any questions, comments, concerns? I move the bill. Move the bill. Does anybody want to tell uh, the senator he's got a long way to go and they're going to vote for it today but reserve the right not to in the future? Why? Yeah. Well, okay, Senator Allen. I wouldn't phrase it exactly like that, but the senator and I did have a chat about some of the concerns that were raised by the Dispute Resolution um, Association or whatever they're called. Um, but, but basically, the whole, the whole question of a mediator, and you brought up the point that if someone solicits a Kind of try, tries to tries to bring the mediator in on, on, on directly illegal activity that ought to be reportable and I totally agree with you on that I, I also at the same time think that we want to create the space uh, for the sharing of as much information as possible and I don't want to I don't want to create a chilling effect within the context of a mediation um, with the passage of this bill and I, I you know you committed to me that you're working on it you're going to be talking to them uh, but I, I hope that that issue is Will be will be addressed through the course of the. So let, let me just path. respond briefly to Senator Allen's concern, and it's a legitimate concern. Here's the concern: the concern is in mediation. You want attorneys basically to admit some of the frailties in their own case, so you can get the thing resolved. And to the extent that if a, if an attorney says, "Hey, look it, I've got here's my weak spot in the case," that somehow that not get reported to the other side, that somehow that not become admissible evidence. And I totally agree. And that's not what this bill is about. If, if, for example, someone reveals to the mediator, oh, by the way, my client or I am stealing from my client's trust fund, that should be reported. Um, I agree, but I think that their concern is that, um, so, uh, so yeah, that, there, that there be, that, that, that you want to have, I mean, this is, the, this is the reason why we have privilege, right? I mean, you, you, you want, you want to create a space where people are willing to admit to things, uh, you know, it, 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 so, so as to be able to resolve them. 
uh, without fear. And of course, they're not going to admit to things if they know that you're a mandatory reporter. So I, I, I just hope that you'll move forward with sensitivity to that concern as, as this process goes along. Uh, I, you know, I, I think it's easy to, you know, to, 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 to come up with scenarios where, uh, where reporting seems very appropriate. But, um, but mediators face very difficult situations well, sometimes where there's, there's really tough conversations and you want to create a space where the, the lawyers are going to feel willingness to be open, including, including admitting to, to improper behavior if, if appropriate. And, and so I guess the question is where do we strike that balance? How do we create a, a – you know, I, I, I mean, it looks like you're, you're trying to address a broad issue here. You know, and, and, and the, mediator, the mediator context is just so specific. I just don't see why we wouldn't want to give them – Create some sort of language that would that would that would that would protect the the, the, the space for sanctity of conversation within the mediation context. So, I, and I take your point, yeah. and, and we will work on that. One of the challenges is that 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 space, if it gets too far expanded sure. to protect attorneys who engage in misconduct, that that undermines what we're trying to do here. In most every. Um, litigation, there's some form of mediation, whether it's with a mediator or some sort of settlement conversation. And you are correct that you want um, an attorney, in order to resolve the case, to be forthright about both their strengths and their weaknesses. And to the extent that they're revealing a weakness, that we don't want that to be used against them because that undermines the whole purpose of settlement That's or exactly settlement I mean. conversations and mediation. Right. Um, and maybe we can create that space. But we don't want to create a space that is so large yep. that somehow that that exception swallows up the requirement of an attorney to report misconduct that harms um, a consumer. All right, Senator Laird has moved the bill. Seeing no further comment, you may close. Notwithstanding my partner's opposition, I urge an I vote. And with that, Secretary, call the roll. This is file item number 13, SB 42, by Senator Umberg. The motion is due pass. Umberg? Aye. Umberg, aye. Wilk? Aye. Wilk, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Ashby? Aye. Ashby, aye. Caballero? Aye. Caballero, aye. Durazo? Aye. Durazo, aye. Laird? Aye. Laird, aye. Min? Aye. Min, aye. Nilo? Aye. Nilo, aye. Stern? Wiener? Aye. Wiener, aye. 10 to 0. And we'll leave that. Congratulations. We'll he's leave. Not. Oh, he's not coming back. Okay, then. We're good. The bill's out 10 to 0.